23rd August 2023, a historic day in space exploration when India successfully landed on the south pole of the moon, an unexplored region of the lunar surface, and Indians were overjoyed at this feat of ISRO, India's space agency. And congratulations poured in from all across the globe for all the scientists who were involved in this momentous feat. Take a look at our next report on how Chandrayaan 3's soft landing marks yet another giant leap in conquering space, the final frontier. Two, one, zero. Chandrayaan 3 scripted history. Navigating its 15 minutes of terror, guided by Indian space scientists, the Indian spacecraft made the tricky last minute calculations to make its final 70-kilometer descent in textbook style. In the end, it made it all look so easy. Soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. The roar echoes ISRO's might and India's entry into an elite league of nations. India is now the fourth nation to land on the moon and the first to land on its south pole. Basking in the glory of success, the Pragyan rover ventured proudly into a lunar region where no craft has gone before. It beamed back closer looks of the lunar terrain. I want to tell you and I want to thank you also for each and everyone who prayed with us in the last many days, uh, who wanted this uh, success to happen in ISRO. I thank all those people in all around the country the Prime Minister of India, who also heads the Department of Space, met ISRO scientists involved in the successful Chandrayaan-3 mission in Karnataka's Bengaluru city and praised their hard work. The Chandrayaan-3 mission was launched on July 14th from India's main spaceport in the southern state of Andhra Pradesh. Since then, it has looped through progressively wider ranging orbits of the Earth, transferred to a lunar orbit, and emerged as a focus of national pride and global interest. The significance of Chandrayaan-3's mission is underscored by the fact that just days before, Russia made a failed attempt to beat it to a landing on the moon's south pole. In the run-up to D-Day, August 23rd, there was feverish excitement in India over a successful landing. Prayers were held in temples, mosques, churches. Schools marshaled students to watch the telecast of the event live, while space enthusiasts organized parties to celebrate. What made the world take note of the prowess of Indian space scientists was its frugal budget. ISRO achieved the technologically challenging mission on a shoestring budget and ended up spending only $75 million on the mission. For comparison, the total budget for the Oppenheimer film reportedly adds up to around $100 million. Two, one.